Hades be like. Now look, I'm gonna do a quarter way through review or one third way through. I'm gonna like chapter 10. Anyway, I asked myself, I said, can it, wait a minute, but hang on. That's a Hades trick if you didn't notice. Right, wind up another freaking realm or something. So look, I said, this book is five star. Can this book be five star? If this book is five star, because you know, they just said it's a different perspective. This is Haiti, Persephone's perspective. This is Haiti's first time perspective. Same timeline. Can it be as good? So, can it? And the answer is yes. It can. Because let me tell you, one thing I love about stories when you do both perspectives, especially when you're reading the story like that, you get all oh, her perspective. You kind of want to know, why did Hades do this? Why did Hades do this? What is Hades thinking? And you don't get that until you read this. And then you get all those points. Like, spoiler alert, by the way. So, if you haven't read this, you might want to come back. Unless you don't care. But, like the Hermes. Um, when he was down there, when Persephone fell in the lake after she went into the Hades' realm. The she fell in the lake, was getting drowned by that uh, soul that's stuck in there forever. And he tried to kill her. And then Hermes helped her out. And then Hades came and was like... And Hermes won't fly in because she's not as strong of a god as, of course, Hades is. And you're like, why did he do that? And then this book, it tells you exactly why. Because he was, he was alright with Hermes saving her. But as soon as he seen Persephone laugh, that was it. You ain't laughing at You ain't laughing at Hermes. Get out of here. Hermes, psh, you got jealous. Well, that's what that was. But the whole thing about the contract... And Aphrodite's contract, like Aphrodite was contract with Hades to see if Hades can make someone fall in love. And then you start to wonder, because that's right at the end. And she answers that right at the beginning. Oh, this one. Because you're like, well, did Hades, was was that part of the contract? Or was this like a legit one for Stephanie? And this book tells you right away, right at the beginning. No, he had made that contract with Aphrodite which was actually Aphrodite's idea because of what Zeus and her had going on so she was trying to make a whole other side bet right and then you get she leaves right she goes away and then you get Hades like all right I got this bat she won it so I gotta do it and then he smells but he smells uh Demeter Persephone's mom right so he smells her mom, I was like, and then all of a sudden he gets a different scent, and he's like, oh, well. But everything he says is that he's in love with this girl. And then he was like, all of a sudden he knew she was going to be the queen. He didn't fuck the fates. The fates did this. And I believe further into this book, we're going to find out all that about the fates and everything. It's like I said, I'm about quarter way through, or one third way through maybe. Um, I believe we're going to lead into all that. But Hades was, he played that because he was like, well, she's here. I, I, I like this girl and, you know, so I might as well just use, I might as well be part of that contract now. Might as well be part of the bat because I, this is a girl that I'm going to make fall in love with me because I'm already, and he's never been married, never fell in love before, really. He's, he slept with, um, what's her name? He turned her into the plant, remember? Oh, no, Kate. Oh, Kate's the other... Kate's the god of magic. Um, what's her name? Whatever her name is. His, his, uh, nymph. He just sleep with her once, but... You know, really fell in love, and he falls in love with her stuff, and he knows, so... I mean, if you fall in love with a girl, then you might as well just... Beat that contract that you got with Aphrodite, right? But, and then the relationship that he's got with Kate, I like that, because, you know, Kate's like a sister, and that's what it feels like. Did y'all know, though, like, Hades, the real story, though, because Hades, Zeus, and um, Poseidon were the brothers, and they beat the dad, and then Poseidon got the sea, Zeus got the, you know, the sky, and Hades got the underworld, and then they all agreed to rule the earth together. But technically... Demeter is because Demeter's really married uh, Zeus and Persephone is Zeus and Demeter's daughter 
which makes Edie's her uncle. Oh, so I almost wonder if they're going to lead into that because, you know, it's a retelling, but I'm wondering how she's going to retell it, right? But anyway, this is a great story. It's already a five-star book because it's already a page turner and it's already interesting and I love the way they do perspectives and this is a great perspective. She's a great, she's a great fighter. I like her a lot. I like these books a lot. These are good books. This is good. If you haven't read it, read this one for, honestly, like I said in my last video, you could read them together, technically. You could. Other than that, bye. Wait a minute. You know what my favorite part is? Fuck. You know what he's obviously supposed to say? Fuck. You know, you know what's funny about that? Is guys really say that. Like, when they see a girl, or they're with a girl, and does something, she does something, or something's going on, all of a sudden you're just like, fuck. That's so funny, because he says that, he's either like, fuck the fate, or just like, fuck. That's hilarious. Like, comment, share, peace.